What is up guys? It's been a little while since I played some of this, but uh, yeah, how's it going? Blood Mod 14 here. Uh, yeah, so um, as I'm sure you guys know, we go over here to the missions. There is a new festival out. Yeah, the Monster Type Festival. And uh, actually, let me let me make sure I figure out what's going on here. Yeah, Monster Type Festival. So, yeah, a lot of rewards to get. 5,500 medals. A lot of gems, I imagine. Uh, yeah, battle with just one type. Fight for victory with your chosen type's pride on the line. You have two options. Battle with just one type or form an alliance consisting of two types. So, this event... Yeah, there's an exclusive list. Uh, decks can only include fairy type and fiend type Pokemon. So, yeah, you can only choose cards that include... Uh, yeah, uh, those types. And then some cards will be, you know, uh, banned from the event, as usual. So, yeah, we're gonna play some, I think we're gonna play some counter fairies today, so, that sounds good. Um, I actually already have quite a few counter fairy decks, um, but let's just go, uh, to the festival and start editing one. Uh, yeah, Monster Type Festival held. Oh man, I, I wonder what, like, awesome music they have for this festival, but, uh, yeah, this is going on. I figured I'd stream for, like, you know, one or two hours, and, uh, yeah. I, I don't know if I'll stream every day for this festival, but yeah, a lot of gems. Wow. Look at that. That's 100, 400, uh, 600. Wow, well, yeah. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12. Yeah, lots of gems for this festival, so that alone may be worth it getting up to uh, 11,000. Uh, yeah, and then a bunch of legacy pack stuff. So let's uh, go here. Let's just start with. No, no, no. So the loner decks, let's take a look at those, j just for fun. So you got like a Cyber Angel kind of deck, I think? Yeah. With a uh, Benton, that's cool. And then you got the uh, Labyrinth Labyrinth deck. <laughs> that's pretty good. Man, yeah, three backjacks, honestly, pretty good. As well as Storming Mirror Force. Definitely got to play around that, because you know, some people will just go with just the loner event in the festival, so... And then, uh... Bladed Creatures of Nightmare. Oh, I get it, I get it, yeah. Little combo with Edge Jump Sabers. Yeah, that's that's not bad. Okay, but I think we'll go with, um... Like I said, a Counter Fairy deck. So let's go to my deck here. Yeah, copy from my deck. Um... Yeah, so I have a couple Counter Fairy decks. Um... And we can just edit it from there. Let's start with... This one is probably probably the best place to start. Yeah, full counter. Okay. So yeah, let's uh, select this deck. That's fine. Yeah. And we can edit it from there. Okay. Alright, let's take a look here. Oh, no Ash in this event. It's honestly kind of nice. Oh man, Christia's banned. Okay. <laughs> That's the main thing I was thinking of when I was thinking of decks for this event too. Um, yeah, Christy is kind of the big play of this deck, but eh, that's okay, that's okay. Instead of that, we'll probably just add another Master Hyperion if I have one. Uh, let's search for that right now. Master, oops, Matter, <laughs> Master Hyper. Okay, I just have two. Okay, that's fine. And as far as the extra deck, uh, yeah, Barone, you know, it's only Fiends and Fairies, so... No BLS, that's unfortunate. But, uh, okay. We can just kind of fill our spots with some other cards here. Uh, because I think this card can special summon some Parshath monsters, so let's look at some related cards. Yeah, I think this is, is, I mean, of course, it doesn't, you know, lock off special summonings like Christia, but, uh, yeah, you know, I think this is still pretty good. Oh, we already have one, actually. Okay, okay. So... Um, yeah, and I guess in the extra, we can add another, uh, moon. Yeah, we can add another moon. Um, we can add, I think I have another Pluto, too. So, Pluto. Okay, yeah. And I might have some more, uh, ancient sacred wyverns, too. Uh, ancients. Ancients. Uh, so, oh, I should probably, yeah, 
Ancients Sacred. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. Cool. Okay, there we go. And yeah, let's save that. I could go with this just as is, but uh, that honestly looks pretty good. Like Dark Ruler no more. The usual counter stuff. Um, there is one card I think I do want to craft uh, before we make some more changes. Uh, probably two cards, actually. Uh, so, <laughs> this card's actually pretty funny. I'm surprised they didn't ban this card for the festival. But, uh, yeah, Red Reboot. Uh, so, this is a good card regardless, and I haven't crafted it yet. So, you know what? Uh, this will be pretty good. So, this is what it does. When your opponent activates a trap, negate the activation. If you do, set that card face down. Then they can set another trap from their deck, so it sounds like you're helping them. But here, here's the kicker. For the rest of this turn, <laughs> after this card resolves, and it's a counter trap, so it's pretty hard to stop. Your opponent cannot activate trap cards. Yeah, you can activate this from your hand by paying uh, half of life points. Well worth it. So, uh, you know what? Let's uh, take one. One red reboot, please. And there we go. Okay. I think that'll help quite a bit for this festival. Um... Let's see. Let's let's throw in some uh, some other back row hate too. Is it, I wonder if a royal decree is legal. I mean, you wouldn't think that's a good idea with me using counter fairies, but I just I'm just curious. It is legal. Wow. <laughs> okay. I may I may have some other fun deck ideas with this. I'm not gonna craft it for now, but that that is pretty hilarious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, for now. Let's actually, hmm, I actually have like two or three spots available. So let's go with a Time Lord, probably. Um, oh yeah, and I only have two Honest. Ooh, this is probably a good idea for the festival. This is the one that spins back row, right? Shuffle all spells and traps your opponent controls into the deck. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea in this festival. Matter of fact, I'm going to put three in. Yeah, and let's bump uh, something down. Let's bump down. Mm, Power Angel Valkyrie to one. I kind of like Power Angel. Let's bump Nova Summoner down to two, actually. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, okay. Um, I actually also have some other gimmicky counter traps in here, like a broken line. Pretty funny when you can pull it off. Uh, I, Solemn Strike, Three Judgment, you know. Uh, I've also got <laughs> Parthian Shot in here. And yeah, at the end of the battle phase, it becomes the end phase. So, the idea, of course, is to use this on your opponent's turn. And like, especially if they try to evenly match, and you, you know, um, you negate the evenly. Or let's just say you leave this to be the only card on your field. Uh, yeah, you can basically uh, skip their turn, which is pretty funny. So, Because I'm sure a lot of evenly matches going around in this festival. Um, but yeah, that's the deck. Uh, yeah, three Shine Balls, you know, a couple Neptunes. Just kind of an Agent Core. And then we got three Bountiful, two Honest, and a Power Angel Valkyrie. And uh, yeah, when a Counter Trap is activated... Or actually, if you negate the activation of a spell trap or monster effect, you can add a light fairy from your deck to your hand. So this is good for getting like honest or bountiful Artemis and stuff. So pretty good. Okay. Well, with that, um, I'm sure I can fill the extra deck with some other stuff. I'm just not thinking of. But let's just let's just get right into it. Let's get right into a duel, and then uh, after the first duel, I'll kind of uh, check on the stream and stuff, make sure everything is looking good. But uh, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty excited to play this festival. Uh, one of the first, uh, one of the first uh, secret packs I went into actually was the, because um, I remember playing the Agent Structure deck when it came out. And so yeah, uh, I was actually lucky enough to pull um, uh, Parshat, the uh, Link Three. Um, yeah, yeah, and I, I just went into the secret pack right away, and I pulled like. Judgment and uh, Solemn Strike right away. So, pretty lucky, honestly. Okay, this hand's not too bad. I think we'll set one. We'll keep uh, Zaphion. Um, I'll probably actually discard Master Hyperion, believe it or not. 
uh, for rebirth. Um, yeah, let's just set a couple. We have to reveal a counter trap off of rebirth uh, to get its effect. So let's do that and end the turn. Let's see what they're gonna have here. Uh, it's so nice having an event without uh, Max C and without Ash Blossom. It's pretty cool. Uh, are they running Sky Strikers? Maybe. Eh, that's fine. Probably got Labyrinth, I would imagine. Uh, Dark Lord, interesting. Hmm. Isn't there a Dark Lord card that searches uh, Time Lords? Hmm. Interesting. Shuffle all cards from your opponent's graveyard. That's not too good of a time. Well, I guess the burn is the key feature here. But yeah, it's not like the most powerful. Well, I guess it's good against. Well, actually, it kind of helps to your tier limits, actually. <laughs> uh, try and guess. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Upstart. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, I'm actually not too familiar with Dark Lord decks, but, uh... Oh, Nurse Burn. Hmm. This deck's making a lot of sense now. I was wondering what's what's up with all the draw power, but uh, this is making a whole lot more sense now that I'm seeing this card right here. Okay. Uh, in fact, I maybe should have judgment of that. Uh, let's let's see if I regret that. I don't know. Cards from the sky. Hmm. Well, let's go for it, guys. They got four back row. Let's go for Zafion here. You can normal summon it without tribute, so let's play it right here. Mm hmm. Response. I'm sure they'll play something here. Triangus. Right. So. Basically, the gaining 3,000 will make us lose 3,000, no matter what. So. That's. Fine, I guess. There's gift card. Hmm, that'll get us down to... Um... Yeah, that'll get us down to, like, quite a bit lower. So I'm actually gonna go with Rebirth of Parshath here. Yeah. Uh, so I'll show this Solemn. And we already summoned, so I'll banish the cards from the sky. Okay. Yeah, because we won our battle phase. Okay. And then off of Rebirth, I can grab... Yeah, that gets shuffled back. I can grab... Hmm, which one is better, honestly? Here. Uh, let's go with this one. Let's go with the uh, Arcanite, Parshat. There we go. Now this will do 3,000 to us. So, there's that. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thanatos, huh? Yeah, so there's that. Another try and guess. Hmm. Well, I can afford the 3,000. And then they only have one back row left. So... Hmm. Okay. So here's what we do now. And we got another Solomon hand, too. That's the good part. Okay. So we attack. Okay. And then... That should shuffle away their trap, their last trap. So... Yeah. So yeah, and then we'll go in with the Arcanine here. Very good, okay. And with that, I can actually take back, as long as the effect goes through, yeah, I can take a counter trap from my deck to my hand. So I think with this setup, we'll take... We'll take Red Reboot. Sounds good. Okay. And now, uh, yeah, Nurse Ruffy Kill's gone. And now Zafion should shuffle back this card, whatever it is. Good, good. Okay, now they're down to just one card. So let's set Reboot. And let's set Solemn. We should be good here, honestly. I know it seems like we're not, but uh, getting the free uh, Sacred Arc Knight kind of, you know, makes this deck, makes this duel a wrap, honestly. Just because the counter traps we have are so strong, duality. Okay, I'm not too worried about that. Hazard Destiny, try and guess. Cup of Ace. Well, they'll probably go for Cup of Ace. Honestly. 
wouldn't shock me. Unless they have another Dark Lord in hand. <laughs> this, this is a pretty funny strategy to use, though, for the festival. Yeah, a couple of days. Okay. Right. I'm not even going to negate it. Let's see if they whiff. Uh, maybe I should negate it. Now that I'm thinking of it. Because if they get two cards... Hmm. Nah, they won't hit it. They won't hit it. Ooh, they did. They did. Okay. Okay, I'm playing a little bit with fire there, but... Uh, Hmm. Very interesting. Let's see if they drew the car they needed. Hmm. Interesting. They just ended the turn. Wow. I guess not. I guess they did not. Okay, so this is going back to the deck. Uh, Zaphion. Well, that's fine. Zaphion did his job here. Thank you. Okay. And so now, let's go with... Ooh, I can actually bring out Master Hyperion. Well, but first, I think I'll search out... I'll do Earth. Nope. And then with Earth, we can grab Pluto. Or, I'm sorry, Neptune. Okay. And then with this, we can bring out Master Hyperion. This should be enough damage. Uh, if it's not, I'll at least get the search from uh, Neptune here. Nope. And then we'll go with this. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, this really should be game here because... And it's not like Nibiru is legal. So... I can go into Master Player here, actually. And that should definitely be game. Okay. There we go. Yeah, Master Player. Master Flare Hyperion, baby. Alright. And then we will copy. Because, yeah, I could copy Venus here, honestly. Um, and that's not half bad. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's copy Venus. And let's, let's just go all in here, boys and girls. So, special summon a Shine Ball. Special summon another Shine Ball. Mm-hmm. And we'll switch some of the third shine ball. Okay. And then we'll link into uh uh what is it? Uh Earth? Uh Moon, right, right, right. Okay. Moon time. Yeah, and this can give us a Earth. Nope. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they quit. <laughs> Alright. Not bad. Not bad for our first duel. That was an interesting deck, though. I'll give it to him. The uh, Dark Lord Marie combo. Yeah, but, but you can see that combo is pretty fragile. I mean, don't get me wrong. They got me down pretty low. But, uh, yeah, basically, if you can get rid of the... Ooh, look at that. 200 out of our first duel. That's cool. But, yeah, if you can get rid of the uh, uh, Nurse Reficule, the Fallen one... Yeah, that's, yeah, you know, that's pretty much, you know, GG, so. Um, you know, or if you negate it, I guess. If you negate it, that's, like, really bad for them. <laughs> like, if you imperm it, <laughs> after they're giving you, like, you know, 3,000 and 3,000 and 3,000. Yeah, that's, that's pretty bad for them. Okay. Oh, yeah, and you get a lot of gems here, too. Wow. Okay, cool, cool. I'm looking forward to this festival. Uh, but for now, let's take a little break. We make sure everything you can hear everything on stream, and I'll tweet out the fact that I'm I'm streaming right now. So, let me pull up my phone here. Just make sure everything's working. All right. Yeah, hope you guys are doing good. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, l let me know in the comments. You know, if you watch this video uh, on YouTube later, or uh, yeah. Yeah, because uh, I am going to post the VOD over there. Uh, same name as my Twitch name, Floodmon14. Uh, but yeah, let me know like uh, uh, if you're excited about the festival, or you hate it, or you know, or whatever, or like what deck you're going to play. So yeah, pretty cool. Let's see, you know, or whatever, or like what deck you're going to play. Okay, so. everything sounds good. So I'll just go to my my tweeter here, and I th I think we'll go to like. 
uh, probably like 11.30 today, something like that. Yeah, you know, like about two and a half hours or so. I think that sounds good, so. Okay, so I'll go here. And then I'll, uh, I'll plug up my phone. My internet's sometimes a little slow. So, while my tw tweeter's pulling up here, I will, uh, yeah, I'll plug in my phone here. So, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and that actually didn't take long at all. I, I guess my internet is usually uh, a little better in the morning, so that's cool. Alright, well, with that being done, let's uh, get out of the Twitter here. Let's go back here to the chat. And... Alright, let me actually, like, kind of minimize... Ooh, whoops. I don't want to close it. No, no, no. No, I'm going to kind of minimize it, though, in case I need to uh, pull it up and check on things. Let's go right here. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. All right, back to the festival. Um, another card that I just thought of <laughs> versus a uh, labyrinth. That's pretty funny. Um, let's see if it's legal in this event. I doubt it is. Um, but uh, let's see, uh, <laughs> shadow imprisoning, imprisoning. Oh, it is legal. Wow. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. Um, you know what? Sure. I've only got one of this, but let's put it in the deck. You know, because we're using all lights. So, well, I guess the only darks we care about potentially are Venus. And maybe Pluto, but I almost never go into Pluto. So, I think that's a great idea. Um... And then, uh, I wonder, well, I obviously light imprisoning has to be legal then, right? M -priz Oops. Uh, put an extra G on there. Uh, light M prison. Hmm. Yeah, it is legal. Uh, maybe I should put another MST in here just in case. But no, no, we'll, we'll leave things, you know, mostly the same for now. Um, also, do I have, I think I have another Rebirth, which is pretty good in this deck. Or pretty good in this, you know, in this matchup in general. I do, yeah. So let's throw that in. And then let's take out... We can afford to take out one Negate Attack, I think. And maybe I'll take out this as well. Uh, Banish the Light Fairy, draw two cards... Yeah, there's not too much synergy with this card that I have in the deck right now. Um, I do like the draw two, well, especially turn one, yeah. Um, but there are better, there are better draw twos. Honestly, if I played Pot of Extravagance, it'd be better than this card. You know, turn one or whatever, or any other following turn. Um, speaking of that, do I want to play that? The only card in my extra deck that I really, really, really... Yeah, if I had... Yeah, man, if I had more... I'm pretty sure I only have one of this card. Let's see. Hard shit. Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, if I had more, I would actually play Pot of Extravagance. But... As it stands, that's really... That's, that, that's like a big risk for no reason. You know what I mean? Um, maybe I should play this, honestly. Yeah, that could be fun. Because usually I do eventually get a uh, Sanctuary in the Sky on the field. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's, what's really funny? Man, I forgot I even had this card in here. Hanawada. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. I mean, and honestly, I don't know if Burn's going to be a main, you know, kind of thing in the festival, but that is hilarious. <laughs> I'm going to actually leave that in the deck. I mean, usually normally it's kind of a brick, but, uh, or normally I would like use this and, you know, obviously one plus nine 
And th this card you can get out pretty easy. One plus nine equals Barone. That's the only reason I have it in here. But honestly, the effect might come up. That is hilarious. Um. Okay, yeah, maybe... Well, how many... That's the real question. How many two tributes are we playing? Most of the time, this is a special. So, like, one... Most of the time, I don't tribute these. Most of the time, I don't tribute this. So, really, we're only playing, like, eh, one or two tributes. You know, since we don't have Christia. So, you know what? Let's throw this in. And then let's take out one card. Um... I probably should take out Broken Line, but it's just really funny. Uh, oh, that's another counter trap I didn't think of. Vanities. That's really good against Labyrinth anyway. Vanities Call. Ooh, okay. I actually don't have that card. Eh, I only got 60, like, material. I don't think I'm going to craft it, but <laughs> that is pretty funny. Um, okay. Another card I'm thinking about is Timidity. Is that legal? It is. Neither player can destroy set spells and traps on the field until your opponent's next end phase. Wow. Hmm. You know, I imagine other people are playing like a lot of blowout cards in this uh, event. This card honestly might be pretty good. Huh. Let's throw one in. Let's throw one in, actually. That honestly might come up as well. Okay, and then we'll take out two cards. So yeah, yeah, I will take out one broken line, as funny as it is. That honestly I think timidity might be better here. And then we'll take out one card for Parshath. Uh this Parshath, yeah. Um hmm. Marshmallow? And yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, there we go. And we'll make some other adjustments if we need them. All right, I'm gonna get a drink. Wish me luck. Not a bad hand, honestly. Well, if they don't have Imperm anyway. Um, well, let's let's try for it. This is the main combo of the deck. So, Venus. Mm -hmm. Venus Hustle. Hockey Point for Down. So stay. Mystic Shine Ball. Shimmy Show. All right. Hockey Point for Down. So stay. Mystic Shine Ball. Shimmy Shoji. So nice not having to worry about Nibiru, man. <laughs> or Ash. <laughs> uh, or Maxi. Maxi is like really bad when this happens, but you know, we don't have to worry about that. Alright. I think we'll keep Feather Duster. Uh, let's go with this and this. Very good, and we will discard. I mean, we'll send. Usually, I send uh, Neptune with Moon. Okay, and let's go with Parsha, Celestial Knight. There we go. Yes. Okay. Parsha. Heck yeah. Okay. So, two options. Normally, I would either take uh, Master Hyperion or um, one of the traps. And I honestly, since we got everything set up, I think let's send Earth. And I think honestly, I think the way to go is this: Fallen Sanctuary. Okay. Yeah, because we've got some negates in case there's like, uh, in case they have Harpy's Feather Duster. So, yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. And then we will end the turn with three face downs. Okay, very good. Boss. 
All right, boss. Let's see what you got. To start, we'll use uh, the regular effect of Sanctuary to set Divine Punishment here. All right. Nope. Don't solemn myself. There we go. Extra negate next turn. All right. And this can negate uh, monsters effects uh, once per turn too, which is pretty good. That are on the field anyway. What you got, boss? Yeah, and it doesn't look like there's any new music in this festival. It just, just, uh, it sounds like the same music so far, which is honestly a little disappointing. But, uh, man, I love the music when they were doing the, uh, like the Legend Anthology event. Man, that, that was some, that music was slapping, bro. That was some good freaking music. I don't know, they, they could change stuff, though. I mean, they could do updates and stuff. Or, or maybe like we just haven't ran into the new music. You never know. So, what is that? You send one normal trap from your hand, or that sentence. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think we want that going off. Um, so let's probably fall in sanctuary. That. So we'll just banish. Uh, yeah, we'll banish Neptune here, and we'll negate that. Do, do, do. Cause that, that's not like a quick effect or anything, so I don't mind using the negate there. There we go. Get sanctuary in the sky. They may still be able to. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I don't know if that's like for cost or what, but they may have been able to to do this anyway. Uh, target a card, destroy it. Then you can send one fiend from your deck to the graveyard. But we can warning this if I just really want to. Uh, let's see what they target. <laughs> After Fallen Sanctuary? Oh, I guess I can judgment this. Um, hmm. Honestly, yeah. Let's do it. Let's judge it. No. Huzzah! The main thing I, I wanted to stop there is them sending a fiend from the deck to the graveyard. That's the main thing I wanted, so. Yeah, they are gonna take down Venus, but that's fine. That's fine. And then next turn, the good part is if we make it through this turn, which it looks like we probably will, a Divine Punishment will be live. They'll probably sell like three or four traps though, so yeah. Oh, just one, wow. Yeah, that's looking pretty good for us, honestly. Okay, Nova. All right. Ooh. Nope. Nope. Okay, so with this, let's uh, let's just snuff out that back row right away. And this isn't a quick effect, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's not. What is? What'd you have there, buddy? Impulse. Why didn't they chain that? That's odd. Um. Okay. Well, I think we will. I'll do this. Uh -huh. Okay. Just a little insurance policy. And we'll go with this. Discarding this. And if we take, uh, um, uh, yeah, this, Earth, we can get Hyperion. So, which is pretty good at this point. And basically, it's, it's basically an OTK if, uh, we get everything to resolve. So, don't do that to myself. It should be good though, because we have Divine Punishment, so I don't see how they're going to stop this really. Go with Hyperion. Yeah. Because you destroyed Venus, right? Yep. Okay. Special summon right here. It's all banish. Oh, we have an Earth in the Grave. Okay. Yeah. Banish that. Then we can take out a Shine Ball to pop that. Uh, does this have an effect when it's destroyed? If another... Oh, if another monster leaves the field... Ah, I see. Okay. Okay, okay. Looks like we're good. So, we can use this twice. So, there we go. 
and bye bye. See ya, Ariana. Alright, and then from here, like I said, it's basically an OTK, so we just go into Majesty. Put the Synchro Shotgun. Deal! Synchro Shotgun! I very soon! Hasta luego! Yeah! And you guys saw this combo last game too, so we just copied the effect of uh, the destruction of Venus. And then we will pay yep, all the life points. Yep. And we get back these three monsters. Nope. Kaboom. Kaboom. And kaboom. And then we can go into another, um, yeah, another Earth. So we'll link these two. Okay. There we go. Baboom. Alright. And, we'll, and just in case, like, we'll add, um, Earth. This is usually what I add. Yeah. So we'll take this. Very good. And that's enough damage on board. So let's get to it. Alright. Not bad, not bad. And, and Master Flare. Oh, I'm actually 100 short. Ooh, whoops. <laughs> My bad. I thought that was enough. Mm, I guess I need to add uh, the uh, Continuous for... Uh, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I did. My bad. My bad. Um, that's fine. We still got like a couple of negates here, so we should be fine. But uh, yeah, that's definitely that's definitely my bad. I miscalculated. Hmm, I'm a hundred short. That's crazy. Uh, there's that. And add a labyrinth. I can just warning this yet. Um, let's say no to that. <laughs> yeah, Fallen Sanctuary. So I'll banish uh, Nova. <laughs> yeah. Not new. Yeah, and this one doesn't have a quick attack either, so. Yeah, new. I kind of left myself wide open there, too, with Shine Ball. Uh, luckily, it didn't come back to bite me. So that's... that's Honestly, that's pretty lucky. You know? Because, yeah, I'm... They could have had a card to pop uh, Sanctuary in the sky. So that's... That's definitely on me. Okay. Parthian Shep. Nice. Okay. Well, let's just do what we normally do. Uh, I'm actually going to sack... Uh, Earth here, because if we tribute herself, yeah, we can go after this. I'm not worried about the set because we've got, uh, yeah, we've got divine punishment. So, okay, so let's play. Let's play divine punishment here. We should be okay unless they have like red reboot in hand. So. Yeah, we're good. We're good. No, welcome, Latin. And that's done. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And from here, we just... GG. Okay, so... <laughs> that was a little closer than it should have been, but... <laughs> it's all good. We, we beat the boss. Alright. My bad. So let's get some more gems. Alright. Yeah. So far, so good. I don't think we need to make any changes to the deck so far. Not another hundred, okay. And these gems are gonna add up real quick. Wow. Alright. Okay. Nice. Uh, what dailies do I have by the oh, just solo mode? Okay. And we'll go ahead and grab this too. Yes, I know what gyms do, game. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Alright, next duel. 
Wish me luck. Alright, this might be the first time we're going second. That's that's the real test of this deck. I mean, because, you know, Counter Fairies love to go first. But, uh, yeah, that's... If we go second, that's definitely going to be the real test. Let's see if we can still win, so... Okay, because, you know, they get a chance to set up first. You know, like like I did last game, so... Let's see. Let's see how good we can do here. Eh, not bad, not bad. This deck can brick, though. I don't want to, you know... Obviously, if you're running Shine Ball, you can brick, so... It's definitely possible, and it's definitely, you know, gonna happen at least once. Six cards in the extra, okay. We're gonna set a few cards. Hmm, we can actually special summon Venus with, uh, Neptune. Hmm, I definitely want to keep that in mind. Face down card, okay. Let's see what we get here. A counter trap would be good since we've got rebirth. Tethys. Hmm. Okay. Let's. Hmm. Let's just try to bait something out. Let's play Sanctuary in the Sky. And then we'll special summon Venus. Yeah. They probably will have something for this, honestly. Oh no, not yet. Maybe when I activate the effect, they'll like imperm it? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I figured, I figured. <laughs> you know, a pretty funny deck that uh, <laughs> I actually used to run here with Venus is like, uh, <laughs> it had a reversal quiz. <laughs> that, that was a fun deck. Because if they imperm you, you see you can still activate the effect. So I would just get myself down to five and get a lot of cards out of my deck. <laughs> and then with um, the continuous um, card from the... Uh, hmm, should I go with Tethys? Probably not. I probably should grab... Um, I probably should try to grab... Um, um, Earth while I can. But... Uh, <laughs> yeah... Uh, yeah, the continuous spell that protects all your back row in this deck, the retrain of Sanctuary in the Sky, it can actually stack your deck, so, believe it or not, um, Reversal Quiz was actually a lot more, uh, consistent than you would think, so. Sangan, interesting, that's a good card. What you gonna get with Sangan? Probably, like, a Labyrinth card, like Stovey or something, I would imagine. Uh, what is that? Was that like an Unchained card? I think it was. Hmm. Let's... I don't even have another counter trap, so let's just end the turn. Hmm, yeah, Unchained can do some pretty crazy stuff. Including OTK, so... Hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I let them add, you know, whatever they wanted from their deck to their hand, so... Maybe. Ah, Kaiju, huh? Oh! <laughs> Santa Claus. Sure. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. It is a fiend. It's a fiend, so there you go. That's the fun. That's the funniest kaiju ever, man. <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm not even sure why they played Santa Claus though, because um, what you call it, Moon is pretty vulnerable, honestly, just being in attack mode. So um, they could have something to take this card back though, like Owner Seal or something. You never know. So. Okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. So they'll probably start going into the link combos now. Although this may be the, uh, the, uh, what you call it? The structure deck? Because there's only... Okay, okay. That's, that's fine. Feather Duster for one? That is, that is totally fine, bro. Um, yeah, because there's only six cards in the extra. Oh, that's it? Um, I guess I'll draw a card. Thanks. Wow, that's odd. Huh, if you link summon an unchained monster, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. The set card is destroyed. You can special one. Oh, that's pretty darn good, honestly. Ooh, that's pretty good as well. Honest, huh? You can target one card you control. This card on the field is destroyed. You can special summon one unchained monster from your hand or deck. Hmm. Interesting. So you would think I would just want to go Tethys. And then get rid of this, right? Um, but what if we... What if we set Strike to negate this? They're out of cards. So how would they do anything about that? Good point. And, well, this can negate anything, though. Spell Trap or Monster Effect. Let's set this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna... I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna summon Earth and try to negate this and basically keep them off of monsters because if I can negate that, then, um, ooh. Alternatively, hmm, alternatively, I could go into my full combo. <laughs> That sounds a bit better. <laughs> uh, yeah, Venus, get out of here. Okay. Do I have a generic 8 in this deck? I don't. Um, this card's kind of in the way, but not really. Uh, yeah, so let's get the Shine Balls out. Yeah, uh, you know, on second thought, maybe I should do my full combo here. Okay, I think we will uh, use Venus to pop this. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, so we'll go moon. Uh -huh. And then, now that the way's clear, I can go into the other shine ball. Okay. And then we'll go moon. I will... Wait, I can add? How can I add? Oh, because oh, Sanctuary in the Skies in my graveyard. The actual field spell. Oh, that's funny. I almost never get that uh, that effect off. Um, yeah, we'll Venus. Okay. Right here. And we will... Tribute. Pop this. Okay. And now... Wait a sec, wait a second, let me read this again. If this card on the field is destroyed by card effects... Or by battle. Okay, okay, I thought it did say battle. Um... Okay, so from here... Hmm... Two options. I could go into this... Ah, uh, you know what, this is probably the best option. Yeah, let's go for two negates, actually. So let's... Yep, two materials. I'm definitely glad I, I played Earth there to get, um, let's go over here, to get, uh, Venus back. This is definitely, this is without a doubt, B play. Okay, because remember how I was talking about, you know, just negating it outright, since they have nothing else? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to discard this. Uh, no, let's discard Tethys. And let's take... Let's take this. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because this will negate it even if... Until it leaves the field. Until the end of the turn. Even if this card leaves the field. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And let's set that. We'll keep striking hand for a rebirth. And then we will... We're actually just going to pass. I think that's the play, yeah. 
that's the play. Especially since they don't have anything. They don't have anything else. And I'm pretty sure they don't have any graveyard effects either. So, let's yeah, shotgun this. And we will set, uh... Nope. Oh. We'll set Divine Punishment right here. Okay, let's see what they can do. One card in hand. Hmm. Let's say no to that right now. And no. <laughs> No, you, you can't add whatever you want, sir. Or ma'am. No. <laughs> That's a pretty good top deck, though, I'm assuming. Yeah, get that card back. And we will special summon... This one. Alright. He's back, baby. Sacred Arc Knight Parsha. Alright, now what are you gonna do? Alright. Yeah, I think that was definitely the way to play it. Because, like, you know, I'm not too familiar with Unchained, but I assume, you know, if, if, if I, you know, had ran him over by battle, I'm assuming that all Unchains read that way. And basically, if we had attacked without reading that, he basically would have been doing his work for him. You know, so. Alright. Um, let's... Yeah. It's up to 1,700 gems. Nice. Okay, and if you duel in festival 30 times, you duel a total of 30 times, you get 150, 200, 400 gems. So, yeah, I'll probably be going for this over the next, you know, a uh, few days here on stream with you guys. So, yeah. Sounds good. Uh, let's check on what's going on in the stream instead. Make sure I'm still good. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so far in this festival, I'm having fun. This, this is pretty cool. Alright, so let's check on stuff. Yeah. Everything looks good to me. Alright. Oh yeah, what time is it, by the way? Uh, okay, it's about, just about 10, so... We got some good going. We got a good going second card. Zapion. They just set a full board. It's honestly pretty good. Hmm. I'm guessing this is the nurse burn stuff. Yeah, with me gaining life points, I'm a. Ooh. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, my deck does like to use the graveyard, so I'm definitely glad that we got Zapion here. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so let's let's try to spin that back row, man. Alright. Zapion, you're up, buddy. Alright. We've got MST if they try anything tricky in the battle phase here. So let's go. Attack. Welcome Labyrinth. That doesn't really change my plans here. Wait. Welcome La Huh. Doesn't Labyrinth like their stuff being in the in the graveyard? Hmm, well I guess Dimensional Fissure Fissure doesn't banish Yeah. It does allow uh spells and traps to go to the graveyard actually. Now that I think about it. Yeah, but it would banish their monsters, which Honestly, that may be worth it to to, to have leaving it, left it kept up. But we're we're gonna shuffle it back. We're gonna shuffle it back. Um, 
Okay. And then let's... Well, we have the negate, too, with Divine Punishment. So let's set... Three and pass. Yeah. That sounds good. Okay. Go ahead. Alright, and we'll, sh we'll shotgun... Uh... Yeah, Fallen Sanctuary. Hmm, what should I get with this, though? I already have Divine Punishment, so... Hmm. I don't know. Uh... Hmm. Nope. What should I get? Um... Let's just get another one. <laughs> that sounds good. All right, and I'm gonna need some really good luck on monsters here. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Are they playing like some kind of Grin Maju strategy? Maybe. With like a labyrinth kind of core. Hmm. We shall find out. Wow, that's that's a card. Yeah. Banisher of the Radiance. Pot of duality. Hmm. This should reveal what they're playing. Well, maybe not. Evenly matched. It's kind of a problem, but not really, because they've already committed to the board. Hmm. Very interesting. Hmm. I never even considered a banished strategy. But I guess it does work. And isn't Grin Maju de Aiza a fiend? I guess it does work, yeah. Battle, okay. They have some kind of quick negate. Oh, okay. Okay, they, they realize the effect of my Time Lord. Okay. Hmm. We may MST that. Yeah, let's probably MST one of these. Okay. In phase? In phase. Let's go... I'm feeling lucky. Let's go with this one. Yeah. Nice. Nice. We had evenly matched. Okay. Now, honestly, that was probably the worst choice, but, uh, because they definitely, they don't want it evenly right now, trust me. Um, Zephyon. Hmm. Huh. Interesting idea. What if I, because this is mandatory, what if I negated this? Can I bring this out? Deactivate a counter trap. Or negate the activation of a spell trap. And banish two other fairies from your field. Hmm. Does this work? Let me let me let me try this. I honestly need to know for future duels. Does this work? Because obviously Zaphion won't be destroyed. No, well, that's fine. And I have two. So it stays. It does work. Wow. <laughs> that's Pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, we'll banish Shine Ball and Zephyon. Okay, so there we go. We, we get out our boss monsters. Well, one of our boss monsters. Right here. Right here, big dog. All right. Okay, so let's let's go for it. Okay, so I will attack this. And now we grab a counter trap from the deck. What would be good here? Hmm, I could also grab this to boost the attack. Hmm. I'm thinking we grab. Hmm. Red reboot. I'm thinking we grab good old negate attack, maybe. My hand's empty, right? Well, no, I have Dark Ruler, but. Uh. Hmm. Let's grab negate attack, yeah. Yeah. Let's grab negate attack. Okay. Main two. They do have one face down left. So it may be like a solemn or something. But yeah, let's let's try for that. I don't know if that was the right call or not. We're about to find out. 
Battle phase? Okay. Wait a sec. Oh, is this card unaffected by traps? Uh, maybe it is. When a normal... Um, well, you control... Oh, you can't tar... Oh, that's my bad. Yeah, I definitely should have, um, added, uh... Ooh. Yeah, if I had read that a little more carefully, I would have added the... What you call it? Huh. Surprised he didn't play that start his turn, honestly. Uh, that's fine. Um... Hmm... Yeah, I definitely would have grabbed the, uh... The continuous to boost our attack. That's on me, man. That's on me. Okay. Hmm... Draw... That's... Hmm... Well, it's a body. Um. Hmm. Okay, and it can get us a counter trap, I guess. Potentially. Because this doesn't have to go to the grave, does it? No, no, it doesn't. So, okay. That's kind of good, honestly. The situation. This duel is going very slow paced, though. Like. Hmm, I wonder what their main strategy is. Obviously, it's not just this and pass. There's no way, you know. That makes a lot of sense, Royal Decree. But I'm not worried about that because... Okay, okay. That's fine. That's that's fine by me. Yeah, I'm not, not too worried about Royal Decree because... Yeah, we've got Divine Punishment. Um, so let's grab three traps. I think the one that can help us the most here is three of these, but let's go for it. Because we have pretty good odds of drawing a counter trap, so yeah, let's grab Rebirth. That's Royal Decree right there. It's pretty obvious, you know? So. Huh, and so far they really haven't been using the effects of this card. It's basically a vanilla. Uh, nice, nice, okay. So there's Royal Decree. Again, like I said, I'm not too afraid about that, because we can just divine that right now. And that way we can keep all of our traps alive. Ooh. Ooh. I see. Man, they were holding on to the reboot the whole time. That's crazy. Uh, set a card from the deck. Sure. Hmm, Royal Decree. What am I going to do about this? Um, hmm. I have a feeling this might help in this matchup if... If I can clear Royal Decree. Hmm. <laughs> that, that was pretty spicy, not going to lie. That was pretty cool. Um, well, at this point, we have to leave our zones open. So let's just end the turn. He's boosted our life points a lot too, though, so... Hmm, interesting. I'm definitely curious to see what's, what's in the deck after this... For uh, this opponent. They're going for a definitely unique strategy. Alright. Definitely a more of a slow, you know, kind of control strategy. But hey, I respect it. I, like, I, like I said to start the stream, I, I thought about crafting this myself, because like, look, look at my field, man, I can't, you know, I can't do anything until we get, you know, Duster or MST with any of these set cards, so, wow. Alright, well this could be our last turn. Not bad, man, not bad. Yep, they, they held the reboot for the right time, so, I'm honestly impressed. Not bad. Yep, I thought we were good there with Divine Punishment, but I guess not, you know? Let's see... But yeah, definitely my mistake was not adding... Uh, yeah, for uh, for Arknight, not adding... Speaking of Arknight... Hmm... I know this negates traps, but could I actually special summon Arknight under Royal Decree? That's a hell of a question. Because this could manage counter traps too, right? 
Oh no, it has to banish fairies to, to revive. Okay, 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 okay. In that case, never mind, but that's an interesting line of thought. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh man. Well, yeah, e even if he didn't have Decree, or even if they didn't have Decree, I don't know if we would have been winning this one, man. I mean, we kind of... That is not what you want to see. We kind of bricked as far as no monsters. You know, normally the solution to this is obviously, you know, you rebirth and then into the Link 3, and you don't have to worry. You know, you can at least get one monster into rotation, but that... That was pretty clean, man, not gonna lie. I'll show you. I'll show you what I have there. But... Yeah, that was pretty clean. All right. Hmm. Our first loss of the event. All right. Let's take a look. Yeah, and now you guys probably see why I crafted Rebirth too, because it's just like, I know it costs you some material, but <laughs> even just having one, like all the gems you're gonna get is worth it. I mean, because basically, this this card kind of won that game solo so oh they were running grid mod you oh yeah yeah, yeah. I, f I figured man cuz like I was just like man the dimensional fissure doesn't make sense because you don't want your um your lady labyrinths or any of the other labyrinth cards you don't really ever want your monsters to go to get banished really but grid mod you that is this deck's kind of based i kind of like it i kind of like it not gonna lie i kind of like it yeah and you got the three desires the three extravagance so the chances you see grin maju is pretty high but they didn't summon it all match which is kind of shocking honestly yeah and the extra deck you know i, I doubt it really matters what's in here i mean unicorn's kind of kind of good it is a fiend yeah i didn't know about unicorn but uh Appaloose is a fairy. Yeah, that, that that is true, I guess. But uh yeah, pretty cool deck, not gonna lie. Pretty cool. I like that one. Alright. Not bad going second. We've got Zephion, and that's kind of it <laughs> as far as going second. Let's see, let's see what they got here. Okay. Yeah, Zephion's so good, man. Shuffling away spells and traps. That is just a really good effect. You know, if you get him to pull it off. Most of the time, though, you see, though, when I play this Time Lord, basically they're just going to flip everything up, you know, but still, just the threat threat of shuffling everything back that's yeah, pretty good honestly in this event okay they got Ariana now last time I kept negating this stuff so let's see how it goes this time discarding mm -hmm. compulse So they get to special summon Stovey. Okay. And this can set like Welcome Labyrinth or yeah, yeah. It seems like the main combo line. Hmm. <laughs> Something funny I just thought of. Uh, Zaphion's a water, so you could play like a bunch of this and any other water fairies, and you could actually play Salvage. That's that's flipping hilarious. Uh, let's go with. Let's special summon this actually, in case they imperm. 
Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Gives us an alternative line of play. Uh, if we need to uh, go into, like, uh, Earth. Which we might. Now you're thinking. Okay. Alright, so let's special summon the Zapion. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we'll just, we're just gonna try to go into Stobie here. Um, yeah, see what happens. They're thinking. Compulse. You know, I guess that does work, yeah. That does work. Well done. But that was a special summon, so I can still summon it without tribute, right? If I want to. I think I can. But they may get some labyrinth effects here once they played a normal trap. Yeah. Draw one card. And then... Then they can special summon another. Uh, like Stovey or something. If they want. Okay. So let's go Zafion again. <laughs> hmm. Um. Hmm. Okay. There goes back, Jack. Well, I can't attack Stoby now. Hmm. The only thing I'm worried about now is if they have an Imperm set. But, I mean, honestly, like... I probably should go for it. Like, even if I take the 1800, that's, you know... It's fine, honestly. Okay. So, I don't know if they whiffed on Jack or not. Well, we're about to find out. Yeah, because Beck Jack. Oh, you can place them on the top in any order. Top card. So I think they whipped by putting a shan shan uh, chandelier in the grid. I think they did. Oh, okay. They were just rearranging the order. Gotcha. Okay, let's try to do the shuffle. Let's try to do the cubic shuffle. I'm smelling an imperm though, definitely. Well, no, actually, okay. But we did force them to go ahead and play this card, so. And this is the regular welcome, not the big welcome. Okay. All right. So there's that, and we'll just go into this. Okay, so we're, maybe we'll get to shuffle back one, which is honestly good if that's their last face down card. It is, wow, and we got the shuffle off, so honestly that turn was best case scenario for us. Um, let's pendulum scale guiding uh, Ariane. I'm sorry, gar guiding Ariad Ariadne. Okay. Let's scale that. And I guess I'll set this. I think we still have to keep warning in hand, even though I don't want to. Um, yeah, mainly because it says reveal. Yeah, yeah, I think we do. So. Okay. So far, so good. We get Venus off the top. That's gonna go ham. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't use uh, this card's effect, though, while they had it on the field. A set, uh... Yeah, you can send it to set, set a Labyrinth Spell or Trap from the deck. 
yeah I, I don't know it seems pretty good to me I, I don't know I, I actually don't know too much about how to play labyrinth but <laughs> I think over the course of this festival I'm basically gonna know how to play the deck which is cool because I, I do want to try it out uh, oh please attack me please after you said a card please do oh yes thank you I will gladly activate the effects oh my god okay they failed to read we did it we did it boys and girls yeah shuffle back that back row <laughs> awesome <laughs> that was best case scenario for us okay we have a chance here we have a chance let's see earth is Hmm. I gotta think here. Earth. Earth, Earth, Earth. Earth. Okay, I think we'll do kind of the same play we did uh, the other duel, where I negated my own effects. Uh, only this time... Yeah, we should be able to get out... Uh, we should be able to get out Parshaf here, which yeah, should be should be a GG, honestly, right? Unless I'm missing something. Uh, yeah, let's let's get this bad boy out. That's the main goal of the deck, so. Then, what do we want to do? Oh, we want to get to Venus, is the goal here. So let's go this. Hmm. I think the discard here, believe it or not, is Earth. Earth for Venus? Oh, we can't get Venus. Ooh, that's my bad, that's my bad. Um, I can, since I did discard Earth there, I can, however, get Master Hyperion. Hmm, that changes things a bit. Let me think. Let me think. <laughs> Is the play here really, you know, normal summon Shine Ball? I think it is. Normal Shine Ball. Go into this. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I think that's the play, honestly. Yep. And then we send. Uh... <laughs> that's really funny. Okay. And then we send uh, Neptune. We're basically just filling up our graveyard here. I think that's the right play, though. Yeah, we send Neptune. Okay. And then. Huh. But you don't control a set card, so... Hmm. Okay. So we tribute this. Pop this. Wow. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I could ball Hala. Um, but I kind of want the search from... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let's ball Hala, actually. So this gives us extra pops, so Valhalla, Hyperion, uh, I didn't read this card, uh, okay, we're good, okay. banish that, pop this, okay. get the search effect for Sanctuary in the Sky, very good, might as well play this, uh, well actually, I don't even need an extra pop, so I won't. Okay. And then we will simply attack. Okay. Oh. Things seem to be looking good, so we'll just end the turn. Okay. Well, yeah, I think their biggest mistake was attacking into Zapion. That was definitely an error, because if they had left themselves with the set card, I couldn't have uh, destroyed this. So that was definitely a whoopsie. Uh, that's a pretty good draw. And I'm just gonna negate it. Solemn warning, baby. 
and we don't have to pay any life points because we've got guardi guiding uh, Ariadne. So, it seems like a good one. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's the scoop. That's the scoop. All right. <laughs> that was an interesting one, though. I think they definitely made like one or two misplays that honestly cost them there. But yeah, I mean, they, they may, you know, they may not be used to playing the deck. I, I know I'm not. Uh, if it was me, I'd, I'd be making tons of misplays. So, you know. All right. Okay. I'm going to check on the stream real quick. Make sure you can still hear everything. like we're good and I'll just do a quick chat a quick chat now quick check on the chat and make sure we're still good here okay and we're looking at about 10 30 all right okay yeah I think after this stream's over I think I'm gonna make some bacon that sounds good maybe some bacon and eggs heck yeah all right, but for now, we've got eh, probably about like another hour of dueling. So so far, I'm having fun with this. I'm I'm glad I decided to to uh uh because I hadn't played Master Duel for a while, honestly. So, but I was just kind of going around in there checking, you know, doing some dailies. Uh, you know, yesterday around like three o'clock or so, and uh, I saw that there was a new festival. I, I was just like, oh, okay. And the main thing I remembered is like, you know, the types that it was with uh, fairies and stuff. So I was like, huh, yeah, maybe we can run counter fairies, you know, but uh, yeah. Yeah. And it's nice that I get, get to use, you know, one of the first decks I opened in Master Duel. It, 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 it's a good feeling, you know, this hand, oof, it's actually a pretty bad hand, all things considered. Even going first, this hand would have been rough. Yeah, this is... Pretty rough. Three back row. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did add that to the deck. Um, I think our best bet here. Let's summon uh, Ariadne. I don't expect it to live, but I'm hoping the search for the counter trap can help us out here. Mm hmm. Hmm. That's pretty huge. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, that is smart. Um. Hmm. Ooh, that, that is something like yeah, if I had a Link 1 for a Fairy, I could actually... Well, no, I can't target this yet. Hmm. I should look in, look into that, though, because if I was in a similar situation, I could go into a Link 1, and then... Yeah, I could Special Summon Hyperion with his hand, and, you know, pop something if it was problematic. Uh, for now... Let's play this. No, let's not play it, actually. Basically, we want to encourage them to to attack us, honestly. So, let's not play a Sanctuary in the Sky. Because yeah. I know their field spell can pop stuff, so that, that's the main thing I'm worried about. You know, other than the fact that I think they're going to have... Wow, they're going to have both the ladies on the field, I think. Yeah. Lady Labyrinth? And um, I think they're going to get the lovely lady, too, here. Pretty, pretty, pretty good starting hand for them. Good. Oh no, they just went. Oh no, they did. Yeah, lovely lady and lady Labyrinth. Okay, they did get both. Okay. Well, this should be an OTK. I'm guessing. Hmm. 
That's what I think. Yep, there's the field spell. So, honestly, not too much I could have done with this hand. <laughs> this is like the worst hand we've seen all stream. But, I mean, most of the hands we've seen this stream, honestly, pretty good. Pretty good, so. Yeah. And honestly, like, one of those games, <laughs> we won with a really terrible hand, because, like, we had, a uh, we had, like, Shine Ball, a Time Lord, and, uh, yeah, we had the, uh, we had the Parshat that you get from the deck. Like, that, that, that duel wasn't looking too promising, but we were able to finagle our way out of that one. So this should be game. Ooh, good hit, good hit, wow. Wow, that's that's some pretty good luck. That, that was the best card in my hand, for sure. That was a pretty good hit. Yeah. And that's it. Not bad. Yeah, this is what Labyrinth can do. Like, if they, you know, you know, obviously we, we've been winning a lot of games against them, but if they get set up, like, that's, you know, it, it's it's locked down, man. It's, it's pretty good. It is pretty good. And plus, I, I think they can, like, you know, recycle their, uh, their resources and stuff, too. So... Oh, uh, well, you still get 50 medals, though, even if you lose, so that is helpful, honestly. Toward getting that, that, in, that end goal one with the big one I'm looking at, the one where you get, like, 400 dreams. Ooh, Dark Magician. Oh, you can't even use Dark Magician this festival, bro. Son Goku. Oh, Son Goku. Kamehameha. I'm Goku. I'm insane. From Earth. Remain Saiyan. Oh, that is unfortunate. Wow. We finally opened Bountiful Artemis. But we don't have any counter traps. That's that's a little sad, honestly. Hmm. We're gonna try though, we're gonna try. No tell them what our opponent's plan, so... Uh, something about this, uh, yeah, Sanctum of Parshat, though. Yeah, set spells and traps can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, so... A lot of people will ignore that, and, uh, just try to destroy them anyway, so... Pretty interesting. It does come up. It really does, honestly. Okay. We did get Shadow and Pr Prisoning Mirror, though, so... That might be pretty good depending on what we're matched up against. Um, hmm. I'm not going to fire it, though, right now. Um, I really want to make sure they don't have, like, Feather Duster. Or Lightning Storm or something. Oh, yeah, I should probably play Lightning Storm in my deck. Probably. Yeah, I, sh I should look at that after this stool. Okay, there's the extravagance. Draw two. Not much I can do about that. Still be. Okay, so they are on Labyrinth. So I think now is a good time to do this. <laughs> Especially since they already discarded for cost. Uh, uh oh. I did not think about that. The Ishizu engine. Hmm. That could honestly be a problem for me in this festival. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> There's the duster. Okay, okay. Yeah, see, that's why I didn't... That's why I didn't want to flip a Shadow Mirror at first. Hmm. Yeah, the Ishizu engine. 
Hmm. Yeah, that could be pretty problematic, honestly. Hmm. Okay. I didn't even think about adding any of those to... But they are fairies, yeah, like Kelbeck, uh... Agito, yeah. Shadow Imprisoning Mirror would have been so good here. And, like, I had it and everything. It's just, you know, they had the duster, so. Yeah. Not much I could do, really, about that. I mean, I guess I could have tried to hold Shadow Imprisoning until after I, like, snuffed out duster, but. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they were in good shape for, for this one, though, no matter what. FaceTime. Hey. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and revive this. <laughs> Probably not the right move, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. Go ahead, go ahead and have them to use the Keldo. Yeah, getting back Feather Duster is good for them, though. Yeah, that way I don't have to worry about that. Messing up any of the usual stuff I do. Uh... <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh... Yeah. Alright, let's activate Timidity. <laughs> Honestly, these aren't bad cards in the event. It's just we drew them for the wrong matchup, for sure. <laughs> it's the first time I've drawn Hanawada all stream, and it's not against the burn deck, so... <laughs> Pretty funny, really. Best hand trap of all time. Best hand trap of all time. <laughs> I imagine, like, uh, this is a tuner, though. Did anyone play this in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds? Hanawada? I mean, if it, if anyone did play it, I imagine it was, uh, uh, let's see, the twins, uh, Rua and Ruka, right? Yeah, Rua and Ruka. I imagine, uh, Luna. Luna probably played this. Well, no, 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 she had the, uh, she had the, like, Karibo on, though, right? The Karibo with, like, a bow around? I'm pretty sure she did, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, sound, that sounds right. Well, I don't know, maybe she played both. Or maybe some some other character, you know, came in with the, uh... Uh... <laughs> the, the, the fairy strat. I mean, it is a level 1 tuner, though, so... Pretty easy to get to, like, 1 for 1 and stuff. You know? And, uh, sometimes, like... I mean, like, like we discovered earlier in this festival, like, I wasn't even expecting burn in this festival, but the fact that, you know, 1 plus 9 equals 10, you know, usually for Barone, that's usually what I use it for, but, yeah, sometimes sometimes the the burn effect does come up. You'd be surprised. So. But, not in this case. <laughs> Alright. I mean, I imagine they might have game here, though. If, like, uh, one of those face downs is, like, a Welcome Labyrinth. Well, no, surely they would have played it in my end phase, though. 
That's the only thing making me think that it's not Welcome Labyrinth face down. Because, like, they they definitely would have, um, you know, summoned from the deck during my end phase. Right? Because, like, that's the thing about the Labyrinth cards. I mean, they're all pretty good, but you never really want to hard draw the, uh, the level 8s. I mean, right? I don't know much about the deck, but, like, even I'm, you know, smart enough to realize that. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe they can special summon themselves from hand, though. Who knows? That would have been helpful a little while ago. <laughs> um, tell you what, let's just... Let's in phase. And let, let's pop this, let's pop this. Hey, you can special summon a fiend monster from your hand or graveyard? Yeah. Let's pop the field spell. Most decks only run one of it, so, you know. Yeah, let, let's pop that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hmm. Okay, there's the Welcome Labyrinth. So... I think it's basically over regardless, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the shit of them chain, like, uh... Uh, Stovey and a bunch of other stuff too. Let's say finally got a welcome weapon card. Yeah. Should, yeah, yeah. There goes the chains. So this should snuff out Hanawada. Rest in peace, Hanawada. Best hand trap. Oh, man. <laughs> Can you imagine if I had something like, uh, Chain Link 4? Can you imagine if I had something like Vanity's Call right now? <laughs> that's that's, that's kind of why I was considering crafting it, but ha! Hanawada, baby! Yeah, no effect damage for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll, I'll surrender if they BM too much, but as long as they make the end quick, because I, I know they have the 1800 in hand, so as long as they make it quick, I'll, I'll go ahead and take the medals, you know? Well, actually, yeah, that's right. You get medals regardless uh, if you win or lose in this festival. So yeah, I probably should just, uh, you know, yeah, I probably should take the medals regardless, honestly. E even if they BM. But if they do BM, though, let's see how far they can do it. Because <laughs> honestly, I am I am interested in, in some of the new Labyrinth cards, and the uh, yeah, best way to learn is to get pummeled by them. <laughs> Wow. Okay, well that basically answers my question. They just hard tributed for <laughs> the Lady Labyrinth. But yeah, I, I don't think this card can special summon itself. You know, if it's in your hand. Uh, well, maybe it can. Special summon this card from your hand. Oh, it's a Labyrinth or a normal trap. Okay, so it, it can special summon itself. But, yeah, whatever that was the whole time, they didn't have nothing though. They, they just hard, you know, double tributed that card. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem, you know. If you get something that's, you know, unchainable, yeah. I mean, most of the time you will, though. You're running stuff like Compulse and stuff that's, you know, pretty easy to chain. But it can happen, you know. 
All right. All right. Wish me better luck this time, guys. Let's see. Oops. What was that? Well, we are going first. That's good. Probably. Good hand. I like this hand. Okay. Alright, let's do it, boys and girls. Let's see that imperm. Show me the imperm. Venus hostile. Show me that imperm. Oh. So, I guess we're free to combo, boys and girls. Okay. We got MST too, which is honestly kind of nice. Um. Now, what should I do? Should I... Hmm. Should I grab Earth here? Or should I send... Well, yeah. Normally I would send uh, Neptune. But we already have Sanctuary in the Sky. So I probably should grab Earth here, honestly. Okay. Mm-hmm. And send these... Link these two up. It's so nice to open Venus when there's no... No Nibiru legal <laughs> or Maxi. <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll add. Uh, oops, add the hand. Yeah, I'll take Earth to my hand. Okay, then we'll go into Parshath here, obviously. So what should we get with Parshath? You know what? I'm thinking. Um, we have Divine Punishment live. So, I'm thinking... Hmm, I'm thinking we grab, uh... Hmm... What to discard as well? Hmm... Maybe I discard... Rebirth, actually. Yeah, I think that seems like the right move. Normally I'd want to keep this, but to get into the Link 3 or the uh, the other one. I could discard MST though. I like MST though, no. We'll, we'll discard Rebirth. And I will try to grab... Let's see, we can grab anything here. Wow, yeah, because we got Sanctuary in the Sky on the field. Let's grab. Wow, 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 wow. The world is our oyster. I'm liking Fallen Sanctuary. Give us an extra negate. Search out the last Divine Punishment. That sounds good. That sounds good to me. And we will set three and pass, boys and girls. A one. A two. Alrighty, go ahead, good luck. Ah, I'm setting that during... Hmm, I could have actually played around uh, Chandrelier if I had kept MST in my hand. They did good though, they waited all the way till the end phase to play that. Some people who don't know how to play this game, to play this game, to play this deck, will shotgun that early, which is definitely the wrong move, but uh, yeah. Oh, and they had Stovey too. Nice. Not bad, not bad. So basically, this this is the ideal hand for Labyrinths, really. You just set up your uh, Welcome Labyrinth and uh, Big Welcome Labyrinth. Pretty good. Hmm. I maybe should have taken another Divine Punishment, but, uh, we'll see. Okay. My turn? Or, oh, I mean, their turn. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2023, man. It's hard to remember whose turn it is. <laughs> Alright. In their draw phase, I'll play Fallen, of course. Yeah. 
And since I did set MST, we'll just go after any new sets they have. Uh, yeah, so I'll set Divine Punishment right here. Let's see what they get. Ooh, Field Spell, huh? Hmm. Let's destroy that. <laughs> I'm really glad I said MST now. At first I was just like, ooh, I probably shouldn't have, but seeing the field spell, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, yeah, it feels good. And you might have thought I set the only Divine Punishment, but uh, joke's on you, amigo. I've got another one set, so. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Yeah. Let's get that out of here. Get that field spell out of here. Yeah, that that was really good for us. I know they still have the other, you know, the other Labyrinth card set, but yeah. Yeah, having MST there definitely saved us a little bit of, you know, trouble for sure. So. Alright. See what they get here. Basically at this point. Uh, all the quantities are known. There goes Stovey. Shangri-Li. Not bad. Yeah, now you guys kind of see how the engine works. You know, with the Stovey and Chandelier, you know, you kind of, uh, you're able to use them, uh, uh, you're able to use them, you know, uh, on your opponent's first turn, and then, you know, <clears throat> that way you can have your traps come out pretty early. Um, now this is probably a good hit to Falling Sanctuary, I think. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. So let's play this effect. I'll banish a Shine Ball gladly for that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I think that was a good decision. What do you guys think? Hmm, that, that seemed pretty good to me. <laughs> yeah, they they scooped as soon as they saw I was gonna negate that. Yeah, but but that's that's really the engine's pretty good because basically you can set your traps, you know, ideally on your opponent's first turn. That way, on your first turn, you know, if you go second, you can still activate your. Uh, your Labyrinth cards, your Welcome Labyrinth and stuff, or the Big Welcome Labyrinth. And then, you know, you can you could see there with Stobie and stuff, and the Chandelier, then you can recur them back to your hand and field. Pretty good, honestly, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good archetype overall. Right. Oh, I got a Lifetime down here. Hmm. What do we get for Lifetime? Lifetime increased duelist level. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, wow, we're already up to 2509 gems. Holy crap, that's crazy. Yeah, that's good. Um, speaking of that, like, what secret packs do I have available right now? Might want to open some. Uh, ooh, yeah, I have like two or three hours left on some of these. Um. Hmm. I think I was looking at this one, Junk Speeder. Yeah, I was trying to build this. I don't think I have it yet. I'm out of here. I think I uh, I have all the Exodia pieces except for Exodia. Anyway, let's go ahead and open one of this. Uh, there, I'm also missing some God cards as well. So I have to get something cool, cool. But if not, I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh, left arm offering. That's a pretty good card. Uh, also, gold's pretty good. They they released some new dark uh, world support in the newest pack. Thunder Force Attack. Nice. Okay, yeah, we got this secret pack for a little longer now. That's cool. Um. Okay. Um. I don't think there's too much out of here that I wanted. Uh. Not really. No. I'm okay letting the Nordic pack go. 
Now out of here, <laughs> as you I, as you guys know, you know, flooding Mon 14. Yeah, I love me some water packs. So there's definitely some stuff I'm looking for out of here. Um, for sure. Nice couple torrentials. Mm, I'll open one more. And then uh, I'll see if we get, um, if I still need Junk Speeder or some of the cards or not. So I'm not too sure. Oh, Dark Lord Asmodeus. Hmm. I wonder if I should put this in my deck for the festival. It is a fairy. Pretty good one, too, that uh, floats. As long as it's sent to the graveyard. Yeah, that's... That honestly might be pretty good. Hmm. Something to consider. Yeah. Yeah, I'd never even consider that card till just now. Okay. So... Doesn't look like we got any supers out of here, but that's okay. Um... Ooh, sea stealth attack. Nice. Uh, oops. No, 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 no. Usually I only buy these by single two, by the way. 2009. Okay, that's the last one I'll try. Uh, I don't, I don't think I have too many sea cell attack though, so that's good. Okay. Um, asteroid. You know what? One more. We're getting a lot of gems. I'm okay with this. Okay. Ooh, Phantasm Spiral Wave and Spiral Battle. <laughs> nice. Okay. But obviously the card I'm looking for out of here is this one, you know. The big old colon can. Um, okay, let's check on what cards are in here. Yeah, let's see how many Junk Converter and... Uh, speeder I have. Because ideally those are the two I'm after. Um uh, junk collector's honestly pretty good. And <laughs> maybe for the fifth well it's a warrior, you can't use it, but still. Uh yeah, let's see speeder and converter. Let's see how many of those I have. Because honestly, I'm not too sure. Speeder converter. Uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what I go into. Just checking on the junk, so to speak. Uh, junk converter. Con okay, so I do only have one. Okay, that's that's what I thought. Uh, now for speeder. Junk speeder. Okay, yeah, I, d I don't have any. Okay, so. Yeah, well, we can open a couple of scrap. Yeah. Open, like, two or three of those. See if we get lucky. And then we'll go back to the festival. Alright. Do -do 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 Top share. Hmm. What does this do? Oh, hmm, that's... Hmm. <laughs> that's somewhat interesting. I guess if you have a way to draw that card that you add to the top. Mm, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. Limit Reverse. Ooh, Lava Golem. Nice. Okay, we'll take that. That's cool. <clears throat> Pretty good. Also, this is a Fiend, right? Hmm, that's something to consider. Uh, what's this? Uh, dusted gold. Cool. Yeah, this gets Dark Fusion, right? Yeah. Or one card that mentions it. Nice. Uh, and this is from the pack. Uh, hopefully this is Junk Speeder. Is it? Oh, no, it's just Scrap Iron Scarecrow. But that is good, though. That keeps the uh, pack um, unlocked for another 24. Ah, nice. Transfigured Heroes. I'm guessing this is, like, evil hero stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have... Ooh, Super probably. Ooh. Hmm. I don't think I have any Super probably actually. Transfigured Heroes. Uh, let's 
check the deck again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have any Super Poly. Although, that's that's probably one of those cards that you probably should just craft, honestly. I probably should have crafted that a while ago. Oh, no, I actually do have one. Okay, glad I checked that. Um, yeah, I probably won't go into that pack in that case. Um, but that's interesting. Let's see what else is in there, actually. In the... I'm just kind of curious for myself, for decks I want to build for fun. Uh, yeah, Bane. I don't think I have Malicious Bane, either. Huh. Yeah, there's some good stuff in here. Mass Change, too, would be pretty nice to have as well. As well as Shadow Mist. Uh, you know, you have to get pretty lucky, though. There's... How many Super Rares are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine Supers and five Ultras? Yeah, you gotta get pretty lucky to to build with some of the stuff out of here. We'll open one back, though. We'll open one. Okay. Tungister. Ah, oh, another Adusted Gold. Okay. Hmm, this card's actually pretty good. Yeah, it floats in a couple of tokens. Well, I mean, back in the day it used to be. It's probably not good now. Vicious Claw. <laughs> The artwork on this card looks pretty cool. Uh, he looks like the, uh... Oh, man, what's the the name of the... The dude from Sailor Moon. T uh, Tuxedo the Mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it looks pretty cool, man. Not gonna lie. Alright, back to the festival duels. And I'll, uh... Let's see what time we're at. I might I might just want to end stream here. I don't know. Uh, no, no, we're at, like, 11... About right at 11 o'clock. Okay. Alright, we'll do a couple more duels. Well, actually, before I do, that's a good idea. Let me go take a little quick bathroom break, and I'll be right back. So. Oh, they're letting me go first? That's interesting. Interesting choice. Good decision. Good decision. This hand is pretty bad. <laughs> Alright, we'll go with... Uh, <clears throat> first time I've, I've played this in the stream, though. Power Angel Valkyrie. So there we go. And we'll set 
to... Then we'll pass. Hmm. Well, if I get the ad, I think the ad is actually probably honest. Honestly. <laughs> honestly. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Duster. Okay. I think I got judgment here. I feel a lot better about this since I have a second judgment. Um... Hmm. Well, I can add anything, actually. I think. Hmm. Is the add really... Hmm. Because we drew both Shine Balls in hand. That's the biggest issue with this hand. Um... Wait a second, wait a second. Maybe this is the ad, actually. Hmm. Yeah, because I got two Shine Balls in hand. Let's do it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. What is that? Ritual Sanctuary? Hmm. Go ahead. Hmm. Interesting. Now the question is, what should the second ad be? For that, I'll probably say... Oh, they're playing Chorus in the Sky. That's interesting. For the second ad, I probably should grab... Probably should grab Honest for that one. We'll see. We'll see, though. Hmm. At a light ritual. Well, there's the machine angel ritual. I'm assuming they're gonna try to fire it off. Ah, uh, add a. That's fine. Go ahead. And that was their normal summon. Hmm. First time we've seen the uh, machine angel ritual deck in this festival. I'm not. Too sure how strong it is, but we're gonna find out, I guess. Hmm. So odd not seeing back row. <laughs> well, not not yet. Anyway. Not yet. Okay, there's the angel ritual. Should I solemn this? I probably should. Let me read this. Hmm. Let's solemn this. <laughs> They'll never expect. Oh, well, what will you do about the second? Okay. Um. So we can activate this. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll banish this and this. Hmm. Honestly, since I banished both Shine Balls, a good add here would actually be... Oh, this is once per turn, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. I was going to say, if I could get another add, uh, probably the other Venus, the Agent of Destruction, would not be too bad there. That's... Oh, I don't have an Agent, though. I was about to say, dang, that might be the end of the game. Um... No, it's fine, it's fine though. What we do here, we just go to combat here. Um, obviously. So I'll do this. Okay, very good. Okay, and with this effect, we can grab a counter trap. Now they are on, um, rituals and stuff. So I think the play was a pretty obvious one. We just take another solemn judgment. Yeah, I think that's the the right answer for sure. Main two, set one, pass. Yeah, I, I kind of hard shut them down. I, I got pretty lucky with that. On kind of lucky and unlucky. I mean, considering my hand was this, and then power, and then two shine balls. You know, that's. 
sort of lucky, sort of unlucky. Because, <laughs> like, you, you never want to hard draw a Shine Ball, especially in your opening hand. I mean, one is kind of, you know, that that's reasonable. That's, you know, that's going to happen. But to hard draw two in your opening hand and still win, that's, you know... Well, let's just say if, if if we were out here playing normal decks like, you know, Branded or, or uh, you know, or like Drytrons or, you know, or like, you know, Labyrinth that's not in the festival or or even like Tears. If we were playing Tears, yeah, there's no way. You know, you brick on two of these with Tears, you know, you're just, there's just no way. There's just no way. I like Counter Fairies. Well my counter for every deck let me speak for myself can't even keep up with the pace of tears it's like even if you negate their stuff like their soul they they get a search anyway so basically they outpace you <laughs> like even in the best scenario where you control the game against tears uh yeah the problem is they they outpace you even if you you know you negate their cards so uh, machine angel ritual does this have a graveyard effect it's it does if a bite monster you control. Oh, that's pretty cool. Probably a good thing I negated that. Okay. And so they can use the sanctuary. Oh, I see. That's pretty good. Okay. So they cycle two. For, oh, the Petite Angel. Nice. We're seeing some of the synergies of the deck. So, yeah, this time I can't really stop the Angel Ritual, regardless of what I do. So, I will negate it, though. I will. I will negate it. The first one, anyway. Yep, that's fine. My life is pretty low, but, you know... Okay, now with this, we'll grab, honestly with our life, so the, the obvious ad is, you know, honest, that's, you know, that's just par for the course, you know. And they'll play the second one. Well, we're going to see some of the effects here now. Pretty interesting. Alright, well they finally got the ritual off, let's see what it can do. So they're going for a level, whoa, a level is 10, wow. Um, if this is Ritual Summon, you can destroy as many face-up monsters you, oh, I don't have any from the extra deck, but uh, unfortunately for you, honest, baby. Now they'll probably use the effects of, uh, yeah, 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 the Ritual, pretty good here, pretty good. Okay. All right. Let's see what we draw. Ready fusion. Hmm. Let me think. I don't have the life points for this. Well, that's number one. Hmm. Right. I can go into that. How many protections do they have? Hmm. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Destroy a card on the field. You can shuffle one ritual monster from your graveyard into the deck. Negate that activation if you do destroy the card. Oh, and they do have one, so they have two protections here. I think they've got this, though, because I can do this. Hmm. Unless they have like a in hand effect I'm not aware of. We should have this. Master Hyperion for game. Pretty clutch that I drew that. Um, so we use this for Neptune. That way I can get two pops. So we'll force one with this. Okay. Well, maybe not actually. It depends on the order they do this in. Okay, they are using the negate. I see. 
Okay. I think that's base case scenario for us. Because if they had used the negate on Hyperion... Yeah, if they had used the negate on Hyperion, it would have destroyed it too. Well, let's just see what happens here. Honestly, I'm still not sure. There's Master Hyperion. We got two pops now. Um, so let's try this. Let's banish Valkyrie. Now they should use the Ritual card, right? Yes. Okay. Now is this till the end of the turn? No, it is not. Okay. So Sanctuary in the Sky gives us another pop. And then we'll banish uh, Anus. Oh. We did it, boys and girls. We outed it. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, that was that was that was crazy. Yeah, I think if they did that in a different order though, if they had saved the monster negate and pop, I think they would have won. Because like the uh the negate also well well let's actually look at the loner deck. Let's look at the loner deck. So I'm pretty sure we read it right. That the negate also destroys Let's see, let's... Okay, 50 gems, cool. Let's go to the loner. Let's look at the Cyber Angel. This one, right? Yeah, the 10. I think this is right. Brash, yeah. Once per turn during either player's turn... When a card or effect is activated that would destroy a card on the field, you can shuffle one ritual, negate the activation, and if you do destroy it, yes, so see, that's that's the mistake they made. What they should have done is, since I went into um, Moon, is they should have used the Machine Angel ritual. Uh, basically, use all the Machine Angel rituals in Grave. Leave, um, leave the negate, and then when I brought out Hyperion, the final negate could have been used on Hyperion, and then it would have destroyed it. That's the biggest thing. It would have destroyed it. And then I was I was all out, as you guys saw. So, yeah, just kind of a small misplay, you know. But it's okay, you know. They might have been using the loner deck. Maybe not, you know. Or they might still be learning the, the, the deck. So, it's all good. Like I said, if I was playing Labyrinths or any of the loners, some of the same stuff would happen. So... That's good to know, though, if I do decide to play the loader deck or a machine, uh, or, yeah, Alexis cards. So, this hand's pretty good, honestly. Yeah, this would have been good going first. Earth, Search, Venus. Yeah, not bad. As it stands, let's see what's going to happen here. Let me guess, set four pass? <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. Boy, our Time Lord card would go hard here. Alright. Time Lord? Hmm. Or if this was Duster, yeah, that would have been. That would have been crazy. Um. Okay, let's. Pendulum scale this? Should I pendulum scale this or summon it? Good question. Let's pendulum scale it. Let's try to get some bait out here. Obviously, I want them to destroy this. And then uh, get us a free counter trap, obviously. I doubt they will, though, if they read it. Hmm. Okay. Big welcome. Hmm. Okay. Oh, did they pop it? They did. Wow. Honestly, they did us a huge favor right there. Assuming the search goes through, that is. Okay. 
database so we can search anything we want. How about... Hmm... How about this, this, and... Red Reboot. <laughs> I doubt they'll give me Red Reboot. That would be pretty crazy. But, uh. Okay. Hmm. When a normal trap is activated, you can set a normal trap. So we haven't summoned. Maybe I should play Raigeki here. I know it seems a little premature. But, uh. I don't know if this is the right call against this deck or not, honestly. Oh wait, oh, did I not read? Uh-oh. <laughs> Obviously it's not. Um, oh, you control set. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, my bad, my bad. Um, can't be destroyed, but it can be shuffled back. So let's activate this. Basically, I'm just trying to guarantee that Rebirth goes through at this point. I might regret not saving that right Gekki, though. Yeah, and they've got effects that can destroy. But I think the play for me is to summon Earth and hope for the best here. Oh, they're taking a long time to think about this one. Okay. There we go. And, yeah, we'll go with Earth. Yeah, I don't think Nova's the call. Because this field spill can pop it at any time. Um, yeah, Venus. Yeah, yeah. Okie dokie. They should end phase some stuff here, for sure. Like, probably a welcome library? Well, they might have already used one. Oh no, they did not. Okay. Interesting. Let's see. Another face down. It's not a surprise. Return it to the hand. Hmm. I guess it does play around uh, Sanctuary in the Sky here. Or the uh, Sanctum of Parsha. Hmm. I don't imagine they would return Earth for me. That just doesn't make any sense. Oh, they. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, Power Angel Valkyrie. Not bad if I had it on the field at the same time as this. But really, I need to summon Venus and try to force out some action here. So let's go right here. Okay, and they, they'll probably play something here. <clears throat> it's almost like they have to, really. There's gotta be some. Another big welcome. Okay. So I think what I want to save Rebirth for is for... Yeah, 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 for that effect. Now, <clears throat> they probably have a... They probably have a counter trap of their own. You know, I'm, I'm just expecting it at this point, but I, this is definitely my best shot. Oh, no way. That's actually going to resolve? Wow. Okay. Well, uh, let's grab this. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Well, they, they'll still get, like, their monster outs 
I think, though, and a pop? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so there's lovely la lady. And then they should get a pop with the field spell, is the thing. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Thought so, thought so. Compulse. Hmm. Good move, good move. And then they can just bring it back out. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, not gonna lie. Um, hmm. Well, let's do this. Hmm. Yeah, I think our best shot here is to stack rebirth and hope for the best, honestly. Uh, one, two. There we go. Not bad. And yeah, we have to keep Solomon in hand for rebirth. That's re that's really the only play we got. So. Not bad, though. Not bad. I don't know. We kind of set them back, but not really. Because <laughs> this is just going to get out a uh, big welcome every turn. So, yeah. Hmm. Well, we're not dead, I guess. Hmm. Oh, I think we are dead. Yeah. Huh. Don't know why they stopped their attack there. But... Thanks, I guess. Okay, let's try this again. Although, yeah, they still have the field spill. Yeah, that's that's the biggest problem. Is like they could just chain big welcome right now, and basically, I'm not quick enough to meet him to the punch with the uh, rebirth. So. Yeah, yeah, and this one, like, the main thing we, we, I, I, I feel like we could have been in, well, I'll never know what these two back row are, but I feel like we could have been in this one. The biggest problem is, I never drew, like, MST or Duster, but I mean, I mean, they could have had a Solemn back here for all I know, so, yeah, pretty good game, though, pretty good game. Yeah, okay. Yep, and now they get the hand pop too. And to bring this back out. So. Okay. Um. We'll set one in pass. <laughs> Not much else we can do on that one. Not too bad. Wow. <laughs> nice. Yeah, they, they perform pretty well in this one. They got Ghastly Glitch. Nice. Yep. Welcome Labyrinths back out. Yeah, that, that, that was impressive, not gonna lie. Hmm. Cause I, I felt like we had some chances there since, um, like, we actually got the shuffle off with uh, Rebirth, too, but not nah, in the end there, just kinda didn't matter. Yeah, not bad, not bad.
sick. So we want to see the Time Lord or Feather Duster, probably. Well, uh, let me stop assuming we're up against Labyrinth each match, too, though. That's probably a bad assumption. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, that's... That's 500 free medals. I mean, that's cool. That's cool with me. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see what they were playing, I guess. Um, yeah, so not too bad here in the festival. Uh, how many wins? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not gonna count this one, but like six and then one, two, three, four. Yeah, six, four. Honestly, not too bad. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. What deck were they playing? I mean, did they actually brick? Uh, what in the world? Magical, mu ooh. Ooh, yeah, these are all fiends. I'll say. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This for the pop? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy box. I mean, this... Pretty cool, not gonna lie. Yeah, and you got the nightmares to go into? Yeah. Pretty interesting. Yeah, the three decree? Yeah. Three decree, three evenly matched? Yeah. Yeah, magical muskets can uh can do some pretty cool stuff. Uh, let's see what time it is. Got some more rewards here. Yeah, a lot of jams, man. I guess. I, I don't really want to get too greedy on this one, but uh, ultimately I do want to unlock it for another 24 hours, so we'll go into this one a couple times. Uh, I'll give it I'll give it like three shots. If we don't get like a super, then I'm gonna stop buying from this one. Um, let's see. Okay, well we got something there. Light pulsar dragon, <laughs> Amazon is fighter. Heck yeah. Uh, I don't think this one's in the pack. Uh, ooh, White Sting Ray. Okay. Fisherman 2. Uh, Noble Knight, huh? Noble Knight Boars. Okay. Yeah, that unlocks that pack. Okay. But ultimately, yeah, I'm trying to unlock this one to, to be unlocked again. You know? Looking for the Cola Can. Oh man, outside of that, Dry Trun. Fragrant Storm is a good card. Oh. Ooh, Deep Sea. Aria. And, um... Oh, yeah, this is used for, uh, like, Mad Max, right? Ooh. Yeah, that's a pretty good card, honestly. Okay. Huh, maybe I should go into the Mad Max pack, actually. When I finally do, like, a 10. Yeah, Mad Max are pretty good. Banish one water from your graveyard. Add one level 4 or lower Sea Serpent monster from your deck to your hand. That's pretty good, yeah. Uh, kind of an interesting cost as far as, you know, as far as the Rota effect, but still pretty good. Only one per turn. Pretty good. Okay, good, good. So we unlock that for a while. So what's in the uh, this pack here? Yeah, this is a Math Mech pack. What's in here? Uh, wow, Final Sigma? Yeah, Kagari? Circular? Hmm. This is just a pretty good pack overall. Like, even if you pull the Sky Striker stuff, yeah, engage. Yeah, even if you pull the Sky Striker stuff or the Math Mech stuff, I feel like you're in pretty good business. Uh, Hornet drones. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna have to do some thinking off stream about this one for sure, because there's not too many. I mean, there are some. You know. It's not so much, I wouldn't say there are some bad Sky Striker cards, but there are some that are just, you know, not really played. And yeah, for Ray to be just a rare, yeah, pretty good. Seems pretty easy to, to build as far as getting Ray. The tough part about getting Sky Strikers is the Kagari, of course, yeah. Which is 
pretty important. Yeah. Chizuka. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, even Hayate and uh I feel like no one plays Kaina, but yeah, Hayate is pretty important though. But I feel like it's it wouldn't be that hard to get since it's a normal rare. Uh yeah. Okay. Alright, so let's see what time it is. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll see about going into this bag. As a matter of fact, you know what? Um, let's see what time it is. Do, 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 do. It is. It just hit eleven thirty. Okay. Um. Tell you what. Yeah, just to have a little fun to end the stream. Like, this is just such a good pack regardless. Let, let's... Normally I, normally I don't do 10, you know, as far as me opening packs, but... Let's do it here. Let's do it here to end the stream. Pretty, pretty good, uh, you know, packs overall, so... Alright, let's see if we get anything cool. Rite of Spirits, uh, Magma, and I've got a Ka Kaina, I I I Leron. Oh, I wish it was a Sky Striker card. Sky Striker Ace monster equipped with this card. I've never seen anyone play this card. You can only use one of the following effects per turn during the main phase. You can target one Sky Striker Ace monster you control. Clip this card from your hand or field to it. If destroyed, you can send a... Oh, okay, so I, I think that's the the main... Like, if you were ever to play this card, that's why... I don't think Sky Strikers need to. But yeah, if it's on the field and destroy, you can send... You can send, like, Engage and then start recycling it. Okay. I guess you could also Machine Dupe this? Ooh, that sounds pretty crazy, actually. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. Maybe something to consider with this card. I don't know. Uh, Magma. Ooh, not bad. Yeah, can add a Math Mag. Not bad. Okay. Alright. Red Carpet. Pretty good card. Another Super? Oh, okay, another one. Well, at least this is the main thing, you know. <laughs> if I am going to build this deck, I mean, you got to have the raise, man. Yeah, arrow spell. Yeah, the field spell is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, and the field spell is a, just a basic rare. Uh, yeah, multi rule is also pretty good. Okay, math and equation two. All right. Let's see, ooh, Edos. Roll out my home. Oh, Yajiro Invader. Ooh, <laughs> there's some funny gimmicks I can consider now that I've got this card. Uh, Hayate though, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Yep, only once per turn, can attack directly, and then if this card battled, like it doesn't even have to inflict damage, but if it just battled, uh, and assuming this wasn't negated, you can send a Sky Shark card from the deck to the graveyard, dump and gauge, you know, start recycling it. Bujin Carration. Um, subtraction. Shark Cannon. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Vanishing, yeah. And then you can special summon that monster to your field instead, but it can't attack. Eh, that's still pretty good though. You can just link it off to whatever you want. Not bad. All right. Oh, this one's outside the pack. Cupid Pitch. Uh, I think I actually needed this card, so that's pretty cool. Hmm, I should probably add it to the event deck, actually. Uh, another field spell is pretty good. Uh, diameter. Ooh, shiny. Oh, all right, let's see what this is. <laughs> Electromagnetic turtle. I mean, I, that can, can go in quite a few decks, though, so that's pretty funny. Good card to mill, you know. All right, gadget hauler. 
Uh, I think this card actually got some like recent support with like a Morphtronic tuner that can bring it out pretty easy for like a level seven or eight. Uh, Super Factorial is pretty cool. Uh, and then Diameter, yeah. Good, good. Alright. Super Quantal Megbeast Magna Li Liger. Hmm. Alright. Hey. Three more to go. Let's see. Alright. Hmm. Mayakashi Metamorphosis. Oh. Hmm. I feel like they don't really need this card, but I guess that is good in case uh, your Doki gets, uh, you know, sniped from the graveyard somehow with like DD Crow. That that does make sense that they would need that. What is this? Divine Dragon, Titano Mak Mak Makhikia. Special summon card cannot be destroyed by battle. It's only use each of the effects once per turn. And banish three. Wait, what? And banish three of itself. From your graveyard, including this card. Wait, how would you do that? Oh, oh, and or face up from the field. Okay, including this card. Destroy all cards your opponent controls. Hmm. During your end phase, you can send cards from the top of your deck equal to the. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. I was wondering, I was just like, man, that seems pretty hard to pull off, but. I guess you can play this with some Ishizu cards, and then with its in phase effect, you know. Uh, yeah, try to mill some more. You got a bunch of dragons out. Mm, that's interesting. Hmm. I feel like there are way better, way easier cards to use, though, that can pull off this effect just to destroy all cards. Hmm. Well, anyway, another Hayate is good. Ooh, shiny. Or is it? Is Master Duel debate me? No, no. Okay, we got a shiny. Oh! Oh! Uh, Fuma, that's pretty good, yeah. Okay. Sonic? Haunted Zombies. Yeah, this is actually a pretty funny trap card. <laughs> uh, multiplication, that's good. And for the Ultra... Ah, Circular! That's actually really good, yeah. Alright. Cool. Alright, last pack. And I think after this we're just gonna we're just gonna end the stream probably. Okay, let's see. Volcanic Queen, nice. Alright. And Sigma, nice. And engage, wow. Pretty good opening overall, I'd have to say. Okay. Nice. Alright. So yeah, that that was a that was a pretty Pretty good opening overall, you know, uh, for the Sky Striker stuff. You definitely want, you know, three engage. So, uh, yeah, and get start toward the Math Mech build too for uh, Sigma and Circular. And we got two Hayate. Good, that's good. Okay. Uh, only one Ray out of uh, ten packs, though. That's I feel like that's kind of unlucky, though, honestly. Yeah, we got like we got three subtraction. So if we can pull three subtraction in one opening, two diameter is good though. But yeah, if you can pull three subtractions, I feel like you probably can pull three ray out of ten. Um, just a little unlucky as far as that goes, though. Uh, overall, pretty good, though. I'll probably come back to this pack, though, and maybe we can build Sky Strikers at some point. Uh, <laughs> for a stream or something. Um, but yeah, I think the only thing I'm going to do is... Um, yeah, yeah, go to the events and probably add Cupid Pitch if I don't have it already. That is a something we can go into, so. Okay. Uh, I could also add some generic stuff, like, I don't think I have Nightmare Unicorn, but... Nightmare... That is a good idea, though. No, yeah, I, I didn't think so. Um... Okay, so let's add Cupid Pitch. Oh, I have four of them. Okay, sweet. Let's uh, add one. Let's add a couple. And then let's see if there's any generic links that I'm just not thinking of for this festival. 
Uh, wait, there we go. Um, some of these, like a lot of these, I might not even have. So, yeah, I feel like Nightmare Phoenix actually probably isn't that good at all this festival. <laughs> I mean, you would think so, but I don't think so. Hmm. Oh, trick stars are legal this festival. Hmm. That's an interesting. Oh! Herald of Mirage Lights. Wait, wait, wait. Two monsters with the same type and attribute. Okay, we have a lot of those in our deck. When a spell trap card is activated, quick effect, you can send one fairy monster from your hand. Negate the activation if you do destroy it. If this card in your possession is sent to your opponent's. To your graveyard by an opponent's card, you can add up to two ritual monsters. Oh, I see, I see. Hmm. Wow, this actually might be good in the uh, Cyber Angel deck, believe it or not. That's really good, yeah. Uh huh. For the for the add back, as well as the negate too. Um, this is basically a extra negate. We can potentially have though. So I think I will throw one in the deck. Hmm. Never, never really even considered this card in some of my builds, but yeah, might be a pretty good one. Because all you need to do is send one fairy. Yeah, you can just like link off a couple shine balls if you want. Yeah, could come up. You never know. All right. Well, with that, guys, I think we're gonna just end the stream here. Uh, and for yeah, if you're watching the VOD later. Uh, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, for all you guys there on the uh, watching the YouTube VOD a little later, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, yeah, have a good night. Bye bye.